Hey folks, happy Christmas. This is a super quick one and apologies for my attire. The queue for the shower post Christmas is absolutely, it's like an hour and a half away. I mean, it's ridiculous. Anyway, on the 30th of December, we have four astrophotography megastars answering your questions live on the Astro Biscuit Discord server. But many old farties, similar in many ways to myself, are like, what the heck is Discord? So I'm about to show you a video, which happens to be the welcome video on the Discord server, which basically introduces you to Discord. Fellow nerds, you may be thinking about jumping off a roof due to the terrible, terrible weather that we've been having. But don't, because you found your way to the Astro Biscuit Discord server, the perfect place to nerd out, even when it's so murky and cloudy, I can't even see the block of flats that's just on the hill there. You can think of the server a bit like one of these houses. Just like a house, our server has got rooms, although they're called channels, and you can go into one, and if someone's in there, you can have a good old geek out. Hey, Benny. I'm busy, Rory. I fear this analogy hasn't quite captured the essence. Scratch that, folks. It's not really like a house at all. It's the biggest astronomy Discord server there is. So actually, it's more like this. A palace, not full of grumpy pink bunnies, although he does actually drop in occasionally. A palace full of lovely, friendly nerds who can respond in real time. We've got rooms where you can ask questions. For those just starting out, we've got the Ask a Nerd channel. Rooms where you can fix problems. Just work! We've all been there. Well, these rooms will help you get out of astro hell as quickly as possible. And even rooms where you can have a little star party and broadcast what you can see through your telescope live. And of course we've got galleries where you can start rising up the ranks. Your first mission is to become mm, a nerd. Not bad. But if you're really good, Ooh. you might even become a mega nerd. And just like this palace was the first place to ever broadcast live TV, so our Discord server is the first place to ever broadcast live astrophotography question time where you can ask your questions, noob questions, any questions you like to an expert panel of astro stars. It happens every month and I'm pretty sure we're the only place in the universe to do it uh, with a host who has Biscuit in their name. Pretty cool, huh? But there's more. Because we have got a whole bunch of hidden channels waiting to be discovered. So come with me as we go on a top five countdown of the Astro Biscuit Discord server's top hidden channels. Most of these hidden gems can be revealed by clicking one of these emojis in the welcome channel. Coming in at number five, we have the leisure channels, which I was gonna because I thought they were a bit boring, but one of the mods said he'd me if I the leisure channels. You'd never see Pink Bunny again. So they're still here. At number four, the do-it-yourself channels. One of the do-it-yourself channels is called the 3D Printer Factory, which I actually used to help me fix the Red Devil. Hey Rory, here it is. I love this 3D printing thing. Uh, and look, it fits. Now folks who are particularly skilled at making their own motorized focuser and the like get the role of extremely biscuity. And that's useful if you wanna have access to the next group of hidden channels. Coming in at number three, we have, what do we have? Oh, come on, biscuits. You had to do it yourself. Here's a clue, your name. Coming in at number three, we have the biscuit tin. You've got to be like a mega nerd or extremely biscuity, one of the higher roles, or a patron to be able to get into the biscuit tin. Essentially, it's where all the best biscuits hang out. Anyway, at number two, we have community scopes. That's right, folks. We've got telescopes 
that you can control from anywhere in the world with your computer. It started with my telescope in the garden where people could dial on and take pictures of the sky who didn't have a telescope, but now we've got more telescopes coming in, uh, among them a big observatory class telescope, 20 inch, for people who are already more advanced and would like to try something special. And in top spots, we have the big amateur telescope, the BAT, where we get together and point our telescopes at the same thing, and share data and come up with amazing results. And gosh darn it, it works. If you've made it to nerd level, we'd love you to come along. We shoot both easy and hard targets, and I particularly want to thank the boys and girls shooting Hubble's Variable Nebula. We are doing it better than anyone else I know of, and if that nebula kicks off like it has done in the past, we will have the best seat on Earth, and I reckon it's an A-pod in the bag. Massive thanks to Signor Don Gennaro, aka Matt, the server's daddy, and of course, the stupendous mods. Matt and the other mods are working completely for free. And one of the things they hope is that the server is gonna allow me to make more videos. Thing is, it takes money to make videos, and I want the server to be free, but there is a way of doing it. If you type help Astro Biscuit in any of the channels, my affiliate links appear. And if you wanna buy something Astro-y, then just click one of the links. Like if you're in America, you probably choose how I put scientific, for instance. Click on it and it creates a cookie and that cookie lasts for 10 days and anything you buy from High Point Scientific in that time, uh, I'll get a small percentage, which is awesome. If you're in the UK, then choose First Light Optics. If you're in Europe, then choose Astro Shop. Won't cost you anything more. It will make a massive difference to my ability to uh, keep on making videos. That's it, folks. Enjoy the server. I hope you genuinely make nerd friends from around the world and in 10 years time, go off and visit them on holidays. That's what it's all about.